Hello everyone! On WaveLab 10, we have a quite long list of improvements and enhancements when it comes to workflow, interface and performance. Let me show you a few of them. The first workflow improvement I want to show you is the audio montage inline editing. In former WaveLab versions, the montage had the option to open the clip in the waveform editor. All the changes affect and modify the original file, so it was a destructive editing process. With inline editing, WaveLab allows you to open a clip range in the waveform editor or directly in the spectrum editor. In this case, the original file is not modified. Instead, a new file is created from the original file. The file file is stored in the montage data folder. In this case, all edits made with the inline editing option are non-destructive in regards to the original source file. This allows you, for example, to edit the audio of video clips. The next new improvement I want to talk about is the enhanced preview in the file browser. The waveform preview window in the file browser and the audio files file browser in the file menu now allows you to jump to a specific play position. To set the cursor to a specific playback position, click in the waveform preview window. WaveLab 10 supports a brand new enhanced audio I.O. routing system, and we've also enhanced and restructured the audio connections dialog in preferences. First, we have the playback buses. The playback buses can be assigned to three different categories, speaker configuration, reference track, and before playback processing. The before playback processing allows you to split the signal before the playback processing effects, for example, room acoustic optimization plugins, and routing it without those effects to a dedicated bus. This bus could be used, for example, for headphone monitoring or to send the signal to an external metering environment like Penguin or RTW. As you can see, I can select the output buses that I will monitor before the playback processing. In this case, I might want to add my headphone bus so that I can monitor through my headphones without the room correction plugins that I might be using. This used to be very tedious if you wanted to monitor through your speakers and then switch very quickly to monitoring through your headphones. You had to basically deactivate your room correction plugins. On the recording tab, you can set up your input buses. This area has been enhanced to support the new multi-track recording in montage and to support the multi-live input rendering feature. On the external effects page, you can connect your external effect processors to your hardware and make them available as external effects inside WaveLab 10. It's now possible to multi-track record in the audio montage, so you can record multiple sources at once in your audio montage project. The amount of effect slots in the master section has been increased to 16 in WaveLab Pro and 8 in WaveLab Elements. WaveLab 10 comes with a new performance monitor meter in the transfer bar. The meter shows you the average audio processing load of your WaveLab session. WaveLab 10 also allows you to import markers from an XML file. And lastly, playback performance and third-party VST plugin support has also been improved.